SpiceLogic Decision Tree software lets you model Markov chain or Markov decision process in an intuitive manner. Today, I will utilize the time variant transition probability feature of the Markov modeling tool built in the decision tree software. Let's do that. Say a cohort of 10,000 people has a probability of death from year zero years to 100 years, as shown in the following table. Start the SpiceLogic Decision Tree software or Rational Will and choose the Markov model as the root node. You will see a step-by-step -step wizard will show up. Let's create two states, alive and dead, and proceed. In simple words, it is asking, do you want to use action in your Markov model? For this project, we do not have Markov action. Rather, we have only Markov states. So click no. Now you will see the Markov simulation settings page. Here, you can define how many state transitions you want as a cohort simulation. You can specify when to stop the simulation, like when state probabilities do not change more than an epsilon, etc. Let's set the maximum number of state transitions to 21. As we have 21 rows in our probability transition table, where each row represents five years of duration. Set the duration to five years. Use a cycle name, age, and check the half cycle correction box, then proceed. Now you can set the transition probability from state to state. As you remember, we have time variant probability, and that means at every age, the probability of an alive state to dead state changes. So check this box to use time variant probability. This is a carousel of all state transitions. Select the one for the alive to death transition. If this box is checked, then uncheck it and click the lookup table button. Now open your Excel file and select the columns where the first column contains the cycle number and the second column contains the probability. After selection, copy the data to your clipboard. Now, get back to the decision tree software and click this button to import the table from your clipboard. See, the Excel table is now imported to the software. Cool. Now click Proceed. You will be asked to set the transition probabilities for the dead state. As you know, dead is an absorbing state, which means the probability of transitioning to any other state from the dead state is zero. So check this box that says dead is an absorbing state. Now proceed. Here, set your initial state. Obviously, the initial state is an alive state. Click Proceed. Here, the software is asking if you want to set a reward or payoff on a state. In our model, the payoff is the life year in a state. In every iteration, we land in the state alive and we gain five life years. So click Yes. Choose the Cost Effectiveness Analysis and Healthcare button. Click this radical box to use a simple, straightforward variable to represent the life year. Also, uncheck this box. We can apply the discount on the future cycle payoff, but for this analysis, let's keep it simple. Name the variable life years. For this analysis, we do not need to configure cost. Otherwise, you could select the tab and check the box minimize cost and other cost related properties. Now proceed. Here, we will set up the reward or payoff for a live state. As our transition happens in five years, let's set five for the alive state. Click Proceed. Great, now the Markov model is generated for you. In the diagram, notice that the expected value is displayed over the node. We can see the expected life year is shown as 76.87. So 76.87 is the life expectancy of this cohort. This is a carousel of various charts that gives various insights, survival probabilities, probability traces, cumulative state value traces, etc. 
Select a chart and click this button to open the context menu. See, you can view the data table behind every chart. You can even export the table to Excel. Here, you can get the organized cohort simulation traces from this panel. You can export this table to Excel as well. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please reach out to our help desk if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you for watching.